Okay, for some reason lately I've been seeing a lot of people talking about and blogging about their high school experiences and how amazing they were and like older people who've already graduated saying these are the best years of your life, ignore the crap and be somebody and you know, just be yourself and you know, this is the most fun you're ever going to have and I'm like, whoa, I really, really hope not because clearly you didn't go to the high school I did. So I decided to make this video a snapshot of my high school career. And I'm sure a lot of you can relate <laughs> to what I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to start it out with this kid in my art class who was such a jerk to me and my friends for no reason. And one day he actually came up to me, sat this close, staring at me, and asked me this. What are you? He actually asked, What are you? And then, of course, there were the multiple times that you'd be sitting at your desk or walking with your friends or sitting in lunch, totally minding your own business, and you'd get tons of random freak, loser, scenester trash, nerd, goth, emo puss. It was times like those that you really wish you were friends with the crazy foreign exchange student. Hello, my name is Zuminico. If you'll need me to, I shall how you say, Cote Beach? And here's something I know you'll find familiar. Because every school has these girls. Hey Ashley, it's Ashley. Did you get the tickets to Fall Boy? Oh my god, sweet. I'm so excited. We're gonna get so wasted. Oh my god, Daddy's letting me borrow the car. Are you excited? Pete Wentz is so gorge. Oh wait. We hold on a second. Go listen to some insane clown posse, you emo freak. Anyways. Yeah, I'm so excited. They're having this new band out with them called the Academy R. I'm so excited. I don't know if they're good, but they wear girls' pants, so I bet they're awesome. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Who are they kidding? Anyway, it wasn't just the kids in my school that were all whacked out. Some of the teachers, I wondered what they were huffing. Amber? Amber's here. Joseph? Joseph's here. Caitlin? Is Caitlin here? I'm right here. Caitlin, you must be in your assigned seat. This has been my seat all year. Move over. Thank you. Cameron. Cameron's here. Thomas. And this was my 10th grade art teacher. You have very beautiful features. Why are you hiding behind your glasses? You could be a model. Your jewelry's just beautiful. Hold on, Jimmy, I'm coming to help you with your clay bong. So, okay, that was a look into Caitlin's high school career. And, I mean, it wasn't all bad. I mean, there were kids in high school that didn't really talk to us, but they were really nice to us, you know? And my friends, I love my friends. If it weren't for them, I wouldn't have made it through high school, obviously. And we had really good times, too, but you can't help when people are constantly in your face. And we, weren't, we wore band t-shirts and jeans, and we were radical in our school. I don't understand that at all. And the thing that really, really got us was these weren't, you know, this wasn't a big school. We'd known these kids since we were like six years old. And they looked at us like we were from land or something, and it was just very bizarre. And obviously, it wasn't everybody, and I hated every minute of school, but I also cried when I left. And I never want to go back there, but it's an experience that I'll kind of miss for probably ever because it's really unique. I'm so glad I graduated. Hang in there. What are you?